<laughs> What's up, everybody? Hello. I hope y'all had a great day today. Okay. Woo. Okay. How y'all doing tonight? Hopefully good. Make sure you like the live when you come in. Okay. Support your girl. Okay. Hello, everybody. Support your girl. Hey. <laughs> Not too bad here. I'm just tired. I'm freaking tired. I feel like lately I could just sleep and sleep. I know that shit be spell work, but at the same time, I got kids too. So let's be real right now. I hope everybody's doing good today <clears throat> on this segment of Mommy Dearest. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. What the fuck? On this segment of Mommy Dearest, for real, okay? Um, you've definitely got a woman, like, your mother here, okay? This could be a stepmother, this could be a baby mama, whatever it may be. It could be a sister that's a mother, but I'm picking up on somebody's mother here. This person is so mad because they have been trying to stop you your whole life, get in the way of everything that you have possibly been doing and make you uncomfortable. And now this person's uncomfortable because there's people that want to collaborate with you, with you or people that like you is what I'm hearing, okay? This woman is trying to stop you from getting some type of message of alliance or collaborations here by acting and doing spell work on you. But I feel like this woman, none of her spell work is working whatsoever, okay? But she is all up in your business is what I'm hearing. So we got we got Capricorn, Aries, and, and Cancer out here. But this woman is like all up in your business here, especially trying to figure out who you're having a partnership with. I feel like don't tell this bitch shit because she's literally trying to find any type of way to take you down, period, okay? Yes. Cheese and crackers, please. Yes, you can have your cheese and crackers. Oh my gosh. They needed their cheese and crackers, okay? Yeah, it's like she's working with a whole community of people to try to bring you down and try to... Guys, guys have good luck. My daughter says she hopes you guys have good I luck, Divine Feminine and Masculine. Okay, what? Sister. Yeah. Okay. I was making sure because I yelled at me. Okay, shut my door, ma'am. Love you. Thank you for the cheese. Goodness. You're welcome. But yeah, it's like this woman and this whole community of people are trying to be, bring conflict to you. It's like they want you brought down to your knees. But whoever you are, it's like you definitely shine too brightly for these people. I'm hearing that this mother is constantly talking shit about you all the time. And she's like speaking death over you. We rebuke that in the name of Jesus. We only speak life over ourselves, period. Okay. She's just mad because um, she doesn't have the entrance or the key to God is what I'm hearing. God's kingdom here. It's like she's trying to assert her authority over you, but she has no authority over anything in your life or anything that is involved in your life, period, okay? This woman is definitely losing strength because she's being completely cut out of your energy here. And I feel like there's no looking back on this whatsoever. <clears throat> she's also jealous of like your favor, your favor from the universe because she's over here still living in her south node still living in the past here but she is constantly thinking about how to destroy you or how to tire you out by making you just defend yourself is what i'm hearing okay she doesn't want you to be more successful than her confirmation on double time on that she doesn't want you to be more successful than her because she's very jealous of everything about you okay she could be jealous of your looks as well is what i'm hearing this woman is so unhealed like she's such a snake i'm trying to mind my potty mouth thank you so much for the gifts i'm trying to mind my potty mouth in this reading okay because i really want to call this woman a whole bunch of stuff yeah it's like she tries to uh, ruin everything that you try to create here and she's over here trying to distort your your vision with spell work but things are still coming into fruition for you is what i'm hearing there is no nurturing this relationship because every time she tries to come in and act like she wants to nurture something it's only to fucking stab you in the back because this person really truly doesn't want you to be active this could be a lot of the reason why some of you out they're tired as well is because this woman is over here trying to do this spell work on you to make sure that you're too tired to get these pinnacles that you're too tired to be passionate about anything as well but i feel like whoever you are all this spell work that she keeps trying to send at you your kids your home is going right back to her and she's freaking out right now i keep hearing that like things are breaking um I'm hearing like things are breaking, things are going wrong around her, and this bitch still doesn't realize that what it is is she needs to mind her own fucking business, period. Like this woman really needs to mind her own business because she's trying to stop you from expanding just because she doesn't feel like she shit, but that's her fucking problem, period. That is a her problem is what I'm hearing, okay? This person's also trying to dull your senses as well so that you don't see what's coming is for you. It's like there's something coming here for you, and I feel like whatever this is, it's going to make you happy. It's going to change your perception. 
I'm hearing change your perception on all people aren't bad. Because I feel like you already know that, but you haven't experienced that. Yeah, so she's over here trying to cause tension in your energy, make you feel like you can't trust anybody, like um, there's nobody else in the world like you, like you need to be alone, okay? But that's only because you're in your uh, north node here. So this woman's trying to bring an imbalance, and she's doing a lot of spell work on your finances at this time and your chakras to try to shut them down, but your chakras are all completely lit up is what I'm hearing. Okay, she's got somebody doing like some type of root work or some shit trying to cultivate some type of plan and having other people investigate you But I feel like all these people that she's communicating with it's not gonna matter anyway Because you're still gonna have this rebirth because change has been coming for a long time for you is what I'm hearing Okay, and like your journey your time is not up But her time is up period for trying to extinguish this passion in you for trying to put out your life and she really thinks she's like behind the scenes being slick as fuck. But I, I'm hearing whoever you are, you just either haven't called this woman out or you haven't like let her fucking have it. And I feel like that's because you know that like um, vengeance is for God, justice is for you. That's what I'm hearing, okay? So this woman doesn't even know what's coming for her ass, period. Oh, I forgot to say, if y'all want to help me reach my gift goal, it is up there. It's those little blooming quarter things, okay? Um, if you want to donate to Cash App, here, let me put that on the screen. My bad, y'all. I'm slacking on my Mackin today, okay? <laughs> slacking on my... I haven't said that in hell long. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Y'all rock. It's like this woman knows that like you have so much financial opportunities coming towards you like you're going to be greater than she's ever been. It's like you're a warrior and she sacrificed her purpose to literally sit there and try to stalk and block yours because she's the type of person that like she was jealous. Um, I'm hearing that like whatever she was supposed to do wasn't going to make her wealthy enough. She wanted to like live like a queen with her feet kicked up and whoever you are, that's how you're supposed to live like a king or a queen with your feet kicked up. So this person decided they were just gonna sit here and try to constantly like tear you down put you to sleep and try to destiny swap with you by cursing your path is what i'm hearing okay but none of this is working anymore for somebody this woman definitely um this woman definitely stole a home from you and she's wondering if you know i feel like you absolutely do that message isn't going to be for everybody and i'm hearing something about um one of y'all like a couple y'all you said like make this person sick who's attacking me and if you notice if you look this woman's sick like she's sick in multiple different ways like she's getting health problem after health problem and like i said things are breaking all around her could be a car as well that's about to go out on this woman because she's trying to do spell work on your car so that you can't persevere and that you can't move forward but she can't have you bound to this commitment which is like this destiny swap because whoever you are you're not in agreement but this woman refuses to stop as well but she's going to be stopped i'm also seeing that she's like trying to stop a marriage from coming together like you and your divine feminine or you and your divine masculine this woman's actually like really disgusting Honestly, people like this absolutely fucking disgust me because she can't ever figure out how to mind her own business. She's going to put herself in the grave with all this stress that she's putting on her damn self is what I'm hearing, okay? Because she's a very bitter, nasty person. Very, 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 very bile. <laughs> Someone's name could be Barry, but very bile. <laughs> Someone's last name could be Biles as well, okay? Because I keep trying to be like, ba 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 <laughs> Oh my god, okay? Like, she's mad because you don't want to have any type of alliance with her whatsoever because you know that this woman doesn't have true intentions for you. It's like, she's one of those fake-ass people that tries to act nice to get what she wants, but she's not going to reach her goal because whenever she tries to be a fake bitch and put this mask on, what happens is she causes a natural disaster in her own life, okay? She causes a natural disaster her in her own, her own life so she just fucking herself up i rebuke you in the name of jesus whoever's musty ass is in here trying to do spell work and cast you down to the pits of hell bitch for real yeah this woman's just mad because she's getting her gift stripped is what i'm hearing as well and none of these people are wanting to collaborate with her either damn that flew all the way over there this woman is frightened and she doesn't want you to know it because that frightened card flew all the way across my room period now she's over here overloaded trying to act like she's not for plotting and planning on you this woman is not okay that's why she keeps trying to bully you because she feels like she has some mommy or daddy issues. She's taken a lot of losses in her life. So she goes and takes it out on you because 
Um, you were always the person to triumph. Uh, I'm hearing like survivor's jealousy. Like she's jealous of the fact that you're able to survive and you have this grace from God. It's like you're you're getting more money. You're in this lucky period or you're about to here. You're going to be liberated because this was always faded is what I'm hearing. And this woman thinks she's ready for what's coming because she thinks she's going to get her way, but she's not ready because she thinks she's going to get good news. This is bad news coming toward her. This is going to create a lot of conflict in her life whatsoever. This is going to create a lot of conflict in her life because her mask is going to get completely ripped off here. <laughs> Everybody's going to remember what she's done to you is what I heard as well. Okay, yeah, she's going to have to learn her lesson. There is no compromising here. I feel like God's tried to compromise with this person multiple times, tried to lead them in the right way, tried to set them to focus on their self, to learn to love their self, but they decided to drink, smoke, do whatever they're doing, gamble, instead of working on their self, and now they're going to end up losing their profession, losing everything that actually matters to them, and I feel like this is money because all this person cares about is money and now this person's going to be angry for somebody this woman's trying to take your kids this bitch isn't going to take your kids she could have done this before <laughs> like uh somebody's mother called confirmation thank you somebody's mother called cps on them before and you, she got your kids taken away you were wondering who called cps it was your fucking mother this bitch had the bright idea to try to take your kids from you and i'm hearing false evidence as well these people used false evidence to take your fucking kids hell nah dude that's not for everybody but that definitely happened to somebody here is what i'm hearing it's like this bitch sat and blindsided you is what i'm hearing she doesn't even love these kids whatsoever um i just want to say I just want to say for those of y'all that your mother took your kids or is trying to take your kids, I'm going to tell you right now, if a bitch don't like you, a bitch don't like your kids, point blank period, okay? Yeah, now this woman is suffering all, this, all these nightmares for the shit she's trying to cause in your life to try to gain some type of shit. It's like she's trying to gain some shit off of you or off of your kids here, but she's going to have to withdraw from the race, period. Yeah, now this bitch can't stay calm because she's been over here stealing your dreams. She's been over here astral projecting, putting on somebody else's face is what I'm hearing as well and now she's gonna have to pay for what she did it's like she's literally been sitting over here crying and bitching praying for your downfall and you just keep getting up every single morning because you're blessed and your blessings are on the way here this is justice I'm telling you this woman is going to jail ma'am if you're in here you're going the fuck to jail <laughs> you're going the fuck to jail for all the shit you've stolen from this person all the people that you fucked over because whoever this mother is you are not the only person they fucked over they have literally made the their whole life out of stealing from people fucking people over that's what they do is they sit and play games with other people's lives and do these rituals to try to destroy other people especially people that have like genuine love in their life because this woman has like no genuine love in her heart whatsoever yeah it's about time this bitch gets caught here like she's gonna end up being pulled in for questioning over some type of fraud i'm hearing finance fraud or something some type of uh signing paperwork illegally in somebody's name nobody gave her permission to do this whatsoever okay i'm gonna tell you right now yeah this woman is fucking disturbed she is a whole ass jezebel and a whole ass demon and then trying to cause you an accident now this bitch is gonna end up trapping her fucking self because she didn't cover her tracks well enough you're gonna win period thank you so much you guys you're gonna win over this whole situation there's nothing that she's gonna do about it and all these people that are helping her in the background are gonna drop out of the race is what i'm hearing because these people don't want the wrath of god yeah <laughs> they don't want the wrath of god but this bitch still keeps going even though she's being told to leave you alone to butt out to stop doing spell work on your money is what i'm hearing okay Be yeah there you go there's your fucking mother right here for somebody yeah it's like even this person like this person has no real friends they get their friends with spell work and shit like that okay it's like they constantly are over here dreaming to be you wanting to be you gaining what you gain because this woman thinks she's like an empress she's not a fucking empress whatsoever she's a dark ass entity with like demonic attachments here and there's the parent card right here this woman doesn't care about anybody but herself and she's childish as fuck like she's over here trying to like do spell work on somebody's children for those of you that have children this bitch is over here trying to do spell work on your children to try to control them to try to make them think that like she's the one helping you and that you like uh or she's the one helping them and that you're demonic but your kids aren't going for this shit point blank period so just relax because this person is not going to put you out and have you homeless and they're not going to rob you of shit it's like this woman keeps thinking she's going to come in and keep stealing your energy stealing your youth want to come in and steal your fucking children steal your money steal everything from you but she's not stealing shit anymore she's going to have to live in her own dusty ass energy with her sick ass period 
I'm trying to keep it PG, but this bitch pisses me off. I hate picking up on this shit, period. Like, who the fuck does this kind of shit? Who hates their children like this? It's like, this bitch doesn't even love her own children. Like, she is so fucking shady. It's like, she just sits over here and sweet talks people into thinking that she's a good person and that she does things out of the kindness of her heart. No, this bitch does things to get something in return, period, every time. She's gonna regret the day that she ever stole from you, regret the day that she ever tried to manipulate you or your children or your family because you're going to be able to move on here and you're going to be completely free is what I'm hearing as well. For some of you, she's also trying to block a twin flame romance or like a soulmate romance. This shit's coming in anyway. Okay. It's like she wants you to be nasty like her because she's very promiscuous and she feels like if she sends this spell work at you, this sex magic at you to make you promiscuous, then this other person, your twin flame, your soulmate isn't going to want to come in and be with you. So she wants you to live this toxic lifestyle so that this person won't come in and pop the question so that y'all won't end up getting married is what I'm hearing and you'll be tied with a karmic but that's just not how this shit's gonna go because whoever you are it's like you're running from all these karmics <laughs> like you don't miss the toxic life is what I'm hearing and this woman is shocked because whoever she is like um, she's doing some heavy ass spell work on you and she's had practitioners working on you as well. People with stronger spiritual gifts. Cause I feel like this woman it's 222 as I'm saying it. Um, this woman is definitely spiritually gifted, but not in the ways that she needs to be to try to destroy you is what I'm hearing. Okay. Yeah. Don't even bump heads with this bitch. Cause her time is up. It's like, she's been stalking you in the spirit, watching you in the physical, just trying to figure out like who's talking to you, what's going on here. This woman is a psych and here's these love spells that aren't working she's trying to make you feel like you don't ever want to be in love or you you could be uh happy and single forever i feel like whoever you are you are a very happy person you don't mind being single but you definitely would like to be with someone or meet somebody of your caliber is what i'm hearing as well okay yeah this person's gonna end up with some type of legal matters here they're going to end up with some type of legal matters here. And this woman is a fucking clown. They're going to be told about their self, period. And they're going to be, a sh I heard, shamed publicly. This woman is going to be shamed publicly in the community for what she did. And she's under pressure because she knows that this is going to break her freaking black heart, her black soul right here, okay, that her whole life is going to go up in flames. I'm hearing that her image that she's created off of your energy is going to go up in flames because she wanted everybody to think that she was like this loving, caring family person and now she's going to be over here feeling like shit because everybody's going to find out that she's horrible to everybody around her. Everyone's going to see her true colors because this cycle's closing here. Thank you so much, you guys. Yeah, and this person truly hates you. Like, she loves to hate you. Now she's over here losing sleep because these deities are over here. I'm hearing, like, smacking her bed, like, waking her up, scratching her, bruising her, things like that. All the shit that was happening to you, now this is going back on this woman because she kept trying to be, like, the thug in your life. I heard this woman was confirmation. I heard this woman was your first bully. She was your first fucking bully. It's like ever since she found out she was pregnant with you, she's been praying down on you, praying that you would never be successful, that your spiritual gifts after she shut them off when you were younger would never be awakened. But look at you over here. Like your gifts are awakening anyway. Now this woman's losing money. That's all she cares about. Money, money, money. She's going to get caught in some type of money scam. I'm telling you right now. So she better enjoy live it up while she can spend all the money that she can because the truth is being illuminated here and she's going to get caught. This woman's going the fuck to prison or jail. I'm here in prison, period. Yeah, for backstabbing you and other people. It's like she's not going to trap you. Now she's trapped herself. Now she's trapped herself in this chaos. And she's about to end up having a mental breakdown. You could de you could definitely be seeing that this woman isn't right. I feel like you've always seen this about her. But there's other people now that are like, you know what? This woman's kind of crazy. Like, she's kind of losing it. Yeah, because they're definitely seeing that this woman is a fucking karmic, okay? That everything that she does, like I said, is for money. That it's never out of love or care for anybody else here. Confirmation. Somebody's name is Justin. <laughs> somebody's name is Justin yeah this this woman is getting kicked out of your energy and she's getting bad news like um non-stop is what I'm hearing and she's fucked over fucked up over the fact that you are absolutely winning I'm hearing something about having a bunch of credit cards out as well she could have credit cards in other people's names she's taking these credit cards yeah that's what Jezebels do that's why you turned your back on this person I feel like keep your back turned to this person because they're going to try to come in this bitch who is not a divine feminine who tries to act like it and they're 
they're going to we try to weasel their way back in by telling you that they love you, telling you that they're sorry with some type of like half-ass apology or whatever, okay? But really, they're just trying to come in because they're not happy about the fact that you're the queen or you're the king and this person is a fucking peasant, for real. Because that's all this person cared about was definitely making sure that they were always looked at as the queen. I feel like this woman watches you on secret accounts as well. It's like she's stalking everything in your life whatsoever. She could actually be um, one of these people. I'm hearing her, like somebody's getting messages from people like wanting to date them or wanting to talk to them. This is your mother behind a fake account acting like a man or acting like a woman and putting a picture of like some random person that they found because they want you to be interested. They want you to like um, plan to meet up with this person and then go to meet up with them and be let down and be heartbroken and just shut your heart chakra off. But you already know that this is fake business. You know that that this woman is over here trying to play with your fucking feelings and she is not going to have things her way whatsoever. She's not going to have her th things whatsoever. Yeah, this is my second account because they shut down my other one. Mom, yeah. Can I give one to yeah, you can give it to Gugu. This is my second account because they, they have me shut down for... Two more days. Whoop, whoop. On Friday, I get to get back on my other account. Yeah, it's like this woman wants to control you. She wants you secluded from everybody while she sits over here living your fucking life. I don't think so. And I feel like this woman definitely, like, see, this is somebody's mother. I'm telling you right now. This woman wants to act like they're a masculine, but they're absolutely not. They're absolutely not. Them trying to block you is being completely rejected. It's being completely rejected, and here comes the fucking police station. It's like, this bitch is going to go to freaking some type of psych ward or jail or some shit like that, and then she's going to be put herself in the whole ass grave because she keeps trying to put you in this round and round cycle and keeps trying to trick you, and whoever you are, like, this isn't a secret. You know that this woman has been after you all your life, doing this fucking divination on you as well. Okay, that's why you're ghosting this woman. She just needs to go mind her damn business. Fuck. It's like she keeps trying to find new practitioners is what I'm hearing because these practitioners like um they she feels like they can't get the job done no you're too spiritually strong for her she is not going to be able to destroy you she just needs to accept the fact that she's the fucking loser like you're winning this point blank period like there is no winning for this woman she is known pretty much losing all her life so i don't see why the fuck it's a difference now i don't see why there's a difference now like she's always gonna lose when it comes to you period thank you so much for the gifts y'all thank you so much I was trying to put my cash app up there, but it doesn't want to let me pin comments. TikTok be hating. TikTok be hating on me, okay? <laughs> Damn, yeah, this bitch is fucking broken. She has, like, mommy and daddy issues. She needs to figure out how to heal. Because while she's over here trying to block your intuition, you're still completely intuitive. I'm hearing on it, okay? And this woman is trying to send you, like, telepathic connection... Uh, um, excuse me, telepathic communication so that you can feel broken and you can feel shattered like her. But whoever you are, it's like you don't feel that way at all. You don't feel broken. You don't feel shattered. Like you know that you still have life to live. This woman is just weird. It's like everything that she tries to do is just failing. She is so fucking obsessed with you while she tries to act like she's not obsessed with your path, that she's not obsessed with your journey. And she's over here hoping and praying that whoever this new practitioner that she went to is going to be able to do this work. I feel like this person's not even doing this work. I feel like this practitioner is not even doing this work. They're rejecting this shit because they're like, yeah, I'll take your money, but I'm not going to do this shit because they know damn well that chasing after trying to destroy you, look at how that almost looks like a skull, is going to bring a death to them and their business, period, okay? So this person's keeping it a secret. They're keeping it a secret. <laughs> and now all this shit is returning to Cinder. All this spell work is returning to Cinder. Damn, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, it's like she's trying to make you feel resistant to moving forward, but whoever you are, you're completely ready. There is no second chances for this person to come into your life because you know that this woman's just an opportunist looking for an opportunity to be dishonest, looking for an opportunity to trick you, okay? But you're going to escape this woman every single time because whoever you are, you have healed way too much. Like, you've done way too much work for this woman to have a one-up on you or try to destroy you. She needs to just go sit her ass down and mind her fucking business because it's really her that needs to heal her heart that's over here that's having like mixed signals and her emotions are all fucked up they're all blocked like i said this woman could be consuming a lot of alcohol or something like that look at how this almost looks like water too somebody's mom's like an alcoholic or something this person does this to distract themselves, and i feel like they're over here trying to sidetrack you 
They don't want you to have any type of passion in your life for anything, especially another person here, because they don't want you to live this fantasy life with your twin flame or with your soulmate. I'm telling you right the fuck now. Like, this person wants to block love for you because for some of you, love is very important, okay? And this person's also jealous of your bo your your booty. <laughs> she could be jealous of your booty, too, but she... <laughs> Hell nah. Hell motherfucking no, okay? But she's jealous of your spirit here is what I'm hearing. Yeah, look at this. Fucking Robert Tussin. I don't know why this shit got me lazy right now. Don't do Percocet tamales. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. Baby, ooh, eh, ride it, ooh, eh. Bring it over to my bed. You don't know what you do. Do to me, your body lightweight speaks to me. Okay. <laughs> because this twin flame, this person um, is definitely going to be like the one Jet Li, period. This is your person that's going to come in. So, and this bitch is bitter and angry because they feel like they have wasted their whole life. <laughs> <laughs> that came out of nowhere, y'all. <laughs> that came over out of nowhere. This person feels like they wasted their life. I feel like they did too, trying to attack you. And now karma's coming for this bitch because she's disloyal as hell because she's been trying to destroy you. Thank you guys for the gifts. And now it's like she's over here constantly thinking of a way to bring you down. But whoever you are, it's like you're not even thinking of this person. They're also like um, having some type of withdrawal from your energy here. Yeah, this is the final straw. Yes, this is collective. This is the final fucking straw because this bitch's mask has been ripped off for good. There is a closure here because whoever you are, it's like this person can't put you back to sleep. Put you to bed, bed, bed. Okay, Jay Holiday. <laughs> I've heard that song in hella days. I feel like your life is going to be fucking beautiful. This woman is always like excited to chase the thrill of trying to destroy you. She feel like, feels like this is a good fucking song. A, oh, song. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. She feels like this is a good fucking idea to sit here and like chase the thrill of trying to destroy you. But this is the fucking breaking point. Like she has reached her limit. This is the final fucking straw. Thank you guys so much for the gifts. <laughs> I'm over here cracking myself up. Thank you so much. This is the final countdown for this bitch, period. She's trying to send some, like, um, karmic masculine towards you as well. I feel like you're going to curb this motherfucker, period. And he's going to be lucky if you don't curb stomp him. Or this could be a, a divine feminine in reverse, so a karmic feminine here. I feel like you're going to curb stomp... <laughs> I feel like you're gonna you're gonna verbally curb stomp this motherfucker and they're gonna know it was a mistake to come toward you whatsoever okay <laughs> this bitch is over here trying to like make you a victim but whoever you are it's like they talk shit about all the mistakes you made but whoever you are like you embrace the mistakes you made you know you damn well know that everything that you've been through, everything that you've done, good and bad, made you who you are today and you're proud of yourself and that's why you're getting granted this new beginning here you're getting you're getting led in a completely new direction and being pointed right towards your fucking soulmate i'm hearing that song space bound by eminem and i'm aiming right at you i'm hearing that shit this person is looking right at you period and there is multiple possibilities with this person as well okay i feel like you don't know that this person is looking at you <laughs> y'all are gonna make some beautiful memories too and this bitch is mad put a cape on her ass period it's like she's over here trying to figure out like why these curses aren't working because you're too strong for her you're too strong for her these aren't going to work on you period it's like it may pull on your energy a little bit but whatever this is is very shallow it doesn't last for very long like you might get a little tired for a little while and then it just completely subsides but it's like this bitch only does this shit to you this bitch only does this shit to you like tries to take your kids tries to manipulate your kids against you tries to turn the whole family against you they only do this shit to you because you are the one with the strongest divine energy in this family the only one with strong divine energy in this family and you made this commitment to walk with spirit is what I'm hearing, okay? This person was hoping that one day, just one day, one way they would be you and they could trap you in their energy. But now this person's tied down and stuck. Didn't I say they had mommy, daddy issues? This person needs to go deal with their fucking abandonment issues. And I feel like because of their envy and their greed, they're going to be left out because you don't want this conflict in your life. You're not dealing with this woman any fucking more because of the shady ass shit that she continues to do. 
She's just shysty as hell, dude. I heard poo shysty. <laughs> what is poo shysty? I heard poo shysty. What the fuck is that? What is a poo shysty, y'all? Yeah, it's like you are constantly running from this bitch. Like ghosting all of her energy is what I'm hearing. Because you know damn well that she's just going to bring you pain. And it's like she goes real deep, too. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded weird. She goes, he's a rapper. Oh, okay. She goes real deep too. She goes deep into the shit. Oh, no, no. Make sure this motherfucker never gets back up again. Blah, 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 in the name of blah, blah, whoever the fuck demon she's calling on. Blah, 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 pop a leg bar. Help me take down my own child. You're weird, bitch. Like, what the fuck? Hum, blah, 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 hum, 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 bum. Titty, titty, bum, bum. Crumb, bum. I don't know what the fuck this bitch is saying. But it's some weird shit. Gollum, Gollum, Gollum. <laughs> Schmeagle, Schmeagle wants his munchies and crunchies. That's his precious. Hum. She's trying to like Schmeagle on your energy with this weird ass shit. She needs to sit the fuck down. This bitch is hella fucking weird. And she's got like that, that war eyebrow. Like this bitch has never been to war. But I'm gonna tell you right now, she's over there like looking like this all the time. <sighs> I'm so mad right now. Oh, she's so mad because you have your peace. <laughs> oh my god, dude. She's fucking weird. Humless Meagle Bum Bum. <laughs> Schmeagel needs to get her bum bum out of your energy. Hum de lit um dum. Yeah, this shit is hopeless. Trying to tie you down is hopeless because every time that she tries to bind you in this spirit, <laughs> every, <laughs> every time she tries to bind you in this spirit, like um, her plans fall apart, period. Yeah, you don't even give her fucking apology. You don't care about her apology. Fuck this bitch's apology, period. Oh, well, my cards tried to fall down. All her cards are falling, boo. <laughs> Crumb diddly bum bum. <laughs> all this bitch's cards are falling. She has definitely played all her cards and now the boundaries are set. I heard bitch come at me and you about to get cut up. Cut up. Now she's over here stressed as fuck because she can't cause any turmoil or tension in your life. And she's over here in this exhausted energy that she wants you that she wanted you in with her deceptive nasty ass. She feels depleted. It's like she wanted you to feel road hard and put away wet. Now this bitch Feels and looks road hard and put away away. Yeehaw! <laughs> Yeehaw, little doggy! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> and she ain't got one in a cool minute. So when I say road hard and put away away, I just mean I just mean looks wise. I mean energy wise. Period. Yes, this is a collective reading. That is funny as hell. Oh my god. Yeah, now she's in this sorrow energy because she can't build some type of foundation. She can't get credit for saying like, uh, like you know those people that go up on stage and they're like, and I'd like to thank my mom and I'd like to thank my dad. Like you would be the motherfucker to walk on. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, this part, I'm going to definitely resonate with this because I heard you would be the one to walk up on stage and be like, I would like to thank my arms for always being by my side. <laughs> I tell people that shit all the time. I'm like, hell no. Nah. I'm like, these bitches ain't here for me. Like, I would like to thank my arms for always being by my side, bitch. Mm-hmm. I would like to thank my motherfucking arms because <laughs> they are steady there. <laughs> I would like to thank my poodle because he's a real one. Like, my corgi held it down A1 since day one. Like, I'd like to thank my children and, and everybody else. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Oh, yeah, you back there? Yeah, you. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, fuck you too. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing right now. <laughs> Y'all are over here thanking your pets and your children and shit. Thanking your arms for being by your side and shit while these people are being released out of your energy, period. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> these people want to have some type of, like, this woman wants to have some type of bond with you. <laughs> She wants you to confide in her. Look at this. She wants you to confide in her. See that word right there? So that she can set your whole plans, everything in your life, it up in flames. And you ain't telling this bitch shit. I heard hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband, period. Because there needs to be distance between you and this bitch. She's being blocked because family really ain't family these days. Point blank, period. I feel like this bitch definitely, you have had to, um, you've had to, like, repeatedly, um, 
You've had to repeatedly deal with this person in so many fucking lifetimes. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to tell you right now, like every single time you came out on top, you were the king or you were the queen, period. And this person was shocked every single fucking time because they were, they unexpectedly end up in the turmoil or the agony that they wanted you to be in. Yeah, this person is trying to cloud your judgment. Whoever you, <laughs> whoever you are, like you don't have clouded judgment. You realize exactly what's going on. And I feel like every time this bitch tries to put you back in a spell your angels or your ancestors come right here and put a ding 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 we have a winner put that light bulb over your head whatever it may be and you're like oh yeah no nah, this bitch oh here she is trying to put me in this lustful energy here she is trying to cause an emotional storm and then it's like you go right back to bitch i ain't playing with you because i have fucking clarity like i know the damn truth i know your intentions and you are dishonest as fuck yeah because this person is constantly trying to put the pull the veil over other people put the rose color glasses on everybody including you and you know that this bitch sits around wearing a mask all day every fucking day that's why it is nothing but silence silence because this bitch is an ice queen you have no words for this bitch that's why you're stonewalling the fuck out of this person and because you're doing that it's like she is over here trying to hold on as tight to you as she can spy on you as often as she can i'm gonna tell you right now like over here trying to confuse you shit we ain't confused we know that you're spying even though you're over here trying to act like you're not spying it's like if you're on social media this bitch is spying on it if you got a phone she's trying to find someone to hack it if she hasn't already this bitch is having people from her work stalk you she's having old men and old ladies stalk you like sweet baby jesus christ for some of y'all you're like why are all these old <laughs> i'm here why are all these old ass people stalking me it's your fucking mama dude it's your mama why are all these old ass people stalking me seeing all these little people with their with their motherfucking uh yorkies and their fucking chihuahuas and shit walking around and going <laughs> giving you the old people angry face look at that dumb bitch right there I heard about what she did to her mother, so I'm going to stone face this bitch right now. Let me leash up my Yorkie, and I'm going to go and look at this bitch nasty as fuck. So she feels just doesn't want to come out of her house. Oh, this person is not going to feel welcome in this community. Murr, they're all shaking their fucking fist to you and shit. All over there pointing their cane at you with the little... Mac Dre, old people, thin face and shit. Hell no. <laughs> I'm seeing it, bro. Hell nah. Over there trying to Mac Dre, thin face you with that fucking cane and everything. You right there. I'm talking to you, ma'am. I'm talking to you, sir. Damn, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, get out of my life, bro. I'm gonna talk about your mama. How about that shit? <laughs> Don't make me talk about your mama, bitch, coming up in here trying to talk shit. I'll talk shit about you and your mama, bitch. What's good? What's good, Miley? <laughs> Don't tell me what the fuck to do, ho. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> fuck, dude. Okay. Yeah, this person longs to be you, period. Okay. But whoever you are, like, keep your... <laughs> <laughs> keep yourself withdrawn from this person okay keep yourself in solitude because this person really wants to um try to act like they're gonna confess some shit to you this bitch ain't ever gonna tell you shit she a liar she a liar and a thief Ooh, you's a nasty bitch that's <laughs> i heard spirit say "Ooh, she's a nasty bitch <laughs> Why is it got to be in the granny voice? Oh, she's a nasty bitch. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Okay. Some of this might not apply to you. Some of all of it might apply to you. I mean, <laughs> it just depends. Oh, my. Oh, she's a nasty bitch. <laughs> Damn, what the fuck? Spirit is going off tonight. I'm done. I can't even. <laughs> my And look at this shit. Oh, she's a nasty bitch. That's mother, okay? That's the mother card. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I'm freaking tired right now. <laughs> Bro, okay. Yeah, this woman's manifestations are completely blocked. She's not going to block you from your manifestations. But this woman definitely does need to go heal. 
She needs to go heal and feel and figure out what the fuck is real, okay? Because she's stuck in this karmic cycle that she's always been stuck in. Like, wanting everybody to love her or value her or look at her like, ooh, girl, what's your name? Damn, you should, like, get over that by the time you're, like, this age. I'm picking up on somebody who's, like, who's, like, 60, 70, 80, 90 years old. Like, damn, bro, like, you are too old to be creating some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> some bullshit oh my god i'm fucking done with myself some bullshit <laughs> somebody's name could be Bo too she creating all this bullshit this lady has too much time on her hands yeah it's like she's not even taking pleasure out of trying to destroy you anymore there could be like a pisces in the background as well that this bitch is working with this dusty ass pisces these people don't want you to have your independence but look at you over here hunts pinyam on the beach and on fucking pride rock and shit ruling your motherfucking land okay and there ain't gonna be like you're over here resting good you're sleeping good you're eating good <laughs> You may be talking a little shit, but you're doing well, okay? Because <laughs> y'all know we got to talk some fucking shit here, okay? I feel like whoever you are, you're completely innocent in this situation. <laughs> you're completely innocent in this situation. She doesn't want there to be a change here, but there's going to be a change coming to this whole fucking corrupt-ass, dusty, musty-ass community. Damn, all these people right here and these little young bucks that they hired to stalk you as well. Because they done hired some, like, little young bucks to stalk you as well. None of these people are high on her. They're just mad and salty. They're just mad and salty, okay? They're trying to h hire these young bucks to throw you off. I feel like you got multiple people stalking you anyway. You got exes. You got friends. You got mommy dearest over here. Someone's got their crusty ass auntie that won't get out of their business as well. <laughs> okay. Yeah, these people really thought that confirmation that you weren't going to discover what they were doing. You know exactly what these people are doing because you wear the crown. You got the golden ticket. They can't even call you Willy Wonka though because you don't, you don't sugarcoat shit, period. You don't have no fucking chocolate factory. These people are over here curious about how you're still standing. Especially this mother figure. Thank you guys so much for the gifts. They want to know how you're still standing because they have done everything they can to try to ruin your ambition and cause tension and you're still over here smiling. You're still over here smiling. You're still over here happy and nobody's pulling you back into um, your south node, period. It's like these people are going to realize <laughs> that they may be patient, but you're more patient, boo. Like you've been patient all your life, the patience of Job. And I feel like these people will not outwit you. They will not outwit you, point blank, period. They keep thinking they're going to outwit you, but really they know that they're just insecure. They are no match for you, boo. You're going to leave your imprint on this community, though. You're going to be a responsible figure of this world, is what I'm hearing as well. Regardless of these illusions that people are trying to paint around you, you're not going to be disciplined. These people are going to end up disciplined. Especially this mother, because it's like all she does is prey on you, work out of her shadow side. But this bitch doesn't realize you've watched her for at first. People do this is your mother, your biological mother. You've watched this bitch all your life. Like the when the student becomes the teacher, bitch. Like you could play her game and outplay this bitch. You just choose not to. You just choose not to. But I'm gonna tell you the one thing that this bitch might have taught you was to play dumb, and you play dumb better than she does. Cause she really thinks that she has. And one up on you. But you're the divine feminine. You're the divine masculine. This woman doesn't have the foresight that you have either. She does not have the same gifts as you. Confirmation. If she does have gifts. These are not the same gifts that you hold. This woman is not going to make progress. Because she keeps trying to compete with you. Keeps trying to make you uh, climb these mountains. Or climb these hurdles. But your determination is A1. Because you have clarity. You see what's going on behind your back. Or you have a feeling about this. You are absolutely right. You are absolutely right. I'm hearing keep up that enthusiasm. Keep listening to your inner guidance because that's what is literally um, guiding you away from the situation right now and separating you from this woman, period. Because she's over here. She's going to try to do spell work on this Aries moon and she's going to get bapped the fuck out. Like all this, I'm hearing all hell is going to break loose. This woman is going to try to do some uh, spell work over this Aries full moon coming up and she's going to get fucked up. Every time she does spell work on these full moons or these new moons, she's going to start to realize that her resilience gets lower and lower. This bitch is not going to be free. She's over here trying to trap you and she's going to end up trapping her damn self because she made a stupid ass choice and she has no compassion whatsoever. She's a fucking coward. 
Damn, and that's the fucking truth. This low vibrational bitch right here who's trying to be you, but she's not in alignment. Now she's going to end up in poverty. Her worst fear. Oh my God, I don't have money. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> she's going to be running around. Blah, 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 blah. She don't know if she's a turkey or a chicken, bitch, for real. Like with her head cut clean the fuck off. This bitch ain't going to know what the fuck is happening to her ass. I'm going to tell you that shit right now. <laughs> you got the whole world in your hands, baby. Like this cycle is going to be completed, period. I feel like especially for those of y'all that are entrepreneurs or you're about to be entrepreneurs do the damn thing do the damn thing show this bitch she's wasting her motherfucking time because she is she's wasting her time trying to destroy her own child now how weird does that sound because mothers are supposed to protect their children they're supposed to love their children you're over here trying to destroy this person you're a fucking weirdo you need to figure out how to heal yourself instead of looking into this person's life and trying to figure out how to be them in every way shape or form because you're not this person you have an emotional imbalance bro you're weird as fuck you are off as hell and you're gonna, like I said, you're gonna put a death to yourself. That's the death card right there. I'm hearing Capricorn and Scorpio again. Gemini. Gemini. Aquarius. <laughs> Someone could be an Aquarius or this bitch could be an Aquarius. Yeah, whoever you are, it's like you're growing and you're expanding here. And this woman is in like total regret. It's like every time she sees you winning, she's getting a big old headache. Like she's getting punched in her fucking gut because look at that. You have prosperity coming here and she doesn't know which way to go. She doesn't know which way to block it. But she's over here with the rest of this little wolf pack, this little fucking crab in a bucket ass motherfuckers trying to stop what you're passionate about or stop you from moving forward but they're gonna be disappointed oh my god you just got demoted bitch because you're nasty and there is no charitable qualities about you you and your collaboration are going down all of you demoted <laughs> because i feel like they invested in some dumbass shit trying to come up against you and create this chaos in your mind but now the towers are hitting these people period they, they ain't gonna know which way to run which way to turn what the fuck's going on they're ass from a hole in the ground period because all this deception is coming right back to this bitch she's gonna end up trapped in that trap that she wanted you in this woman could be end up uh getting a divorce or like uh splitting up with whoever she's with as well i feel like um everything's gonna get crammed up her ass at once that's <laughs> confirmation everything's gonna get crammed up her ass at once she ain't gonna know what the fuck to do <laughs> stinky spirit <laughs> that's funny as a motherfucker oh my god no Ooh, ooh, this girl. She might have a little bit of um, she might have a little bit of both ways tendencies as well. I don't know if you know this about your mother, but she she has a lot of hoe in her. So she's mad that she that you don't have no hoe in you. She's trying to like force you to be a freaking hoe. Once upon a time, long ago, she was a hoe and she still is. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Oh my god, yeah, won't even let me pin my cash app. Well, fuck you too. Fuck you too, TikTok. Shit, bitch. She is sad. This is this is a fucking sad energy, honestly. I mean, crunchy, crunchy, munchy, dusty. I don't know, dude. Damn, here we are with the death card. It's like everything is falling down around this bitch. And she like she doesn't even regret what she's doing. She's just sad that everything's falling down around her. She's all sitting here trying to blame you because of the fact that she won't figure out how to fucking grow up and leave you the fuck alone or let you be an adult, whatever it is, because she's a fucking coward. This bitch is like obsessed with you and this imbalance is just fucking weird. This is weird because whoever you are, it's like you got this abundance coming in. Like you're over here laughing, having a good time, whatever. You don't envy anything anybody is what I'm hearing as well and you're always grateful for everything that you have this bitch might want to accept that you may be this bit sorry I was reading comments this bitch might want to accept that you actually may be the role model to her she might want to sit down and take note but I feel like she would definitely be um she'd definitely be in this fear energy to ever let you know that you are like the prime example of what a mother should be what a father should be point blank period yeah, this bitch doesn't want to surrender. You're going to get blocked for that, bitch. No, I don't do spells. The fuck? You get instantly blocked for even asking that. Fuck out of here, witch. We don't fuck with we don't fuck with spell work motherfuckers over here. For all my for you know what I am going to say for all my white witches that you don't fucking use um your spell work for evil. I ain't got no fucking problem with you. 
I mean, do you. But, I mean, to sit here and ask me if I do spell work, like, bitch, you're going to get blocked. Period. You're going to get fucking blocked. I don't fuck with that dark magic bullshit, that love spell bullshit. You should not fuck with things that are not your business to fuck with. That is God's plan. That is God's shit. That is God's area. Period. Yeah. All these bitches over here. It's going to be a failure. That's going to be a no for me, dog. Randy Jackson's bitch. <laughs> I don't want to be your friend, ho. <laughs> <clears throat> that was a whole ass karmic over here trying to make me look bad, bitch. You can freaking sit and spin, ho. Sit and spin, you crusty ass bitch. You looked crusty too with your little... <laughs> that little... You had going on? Nah. That shit's weird as fuck, girl. <laughs> oh, damn, I should have done it. No, I don't do spell work. <laughs> Nah, bitch, we don't do spell work over here. <laughs> okay, fuck. <laughs> yeah, whoever the, whoever's mother this is, she's unsuccessful and she's over here grieving. <laughs> she's, <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. She's over here grieving and shit because she can't think of some type of plot and plan. Like I said, I'm hearing this bitch is losing her mind right now. She's literally losing her mind. She's gonna have onset dementia. She's gonna have that dementia. Okay. Denial? No, that's dementia, boo. <laughs> that's what I heard. <laughs> that's dementia. She's also worried about, like, her memory. Like, she's, like, misplacing shit, losing shit. I'm hearing something about a trickster spirit or a trickster demon that's actually, she, like, called this on you, and it's actually, like, fucking with her. <laughs> it's, like, moving shit to where she can't find it. Like, she'll set it down. It will move shit. I'm literally watching this, and then it will put it back where she, where it originally was. That's crazy as fuck. Yeah, this bitch needs to work on her self-esteem. She needs to work on her self-esteem, boo. I feel like forgive this person because they know damn well what they do, but she is who she is. And just understand that, like, you're going to persevere and she's not going to. Like, you're going to be in this peace energy because you're living in your purpose and you're still going to have this relationship with all this love. Like, that's your judgment. Your judgment is definitely to have this beautiful relationship with lots of love in it. And these towers completely missing you is what I'm hearing, okay? Yeah, this woman's growing impatient <clears throat> as well because she can't go to, like, your ancestors or God and put the blame on you because this is all on her. She's going to have to take this discipline. Take this... <laughs> She's going to have to take this discipline, <laughs> period, and she is not happy about it. I feel like she's already a miserable-ass person. She is already a miserable-ass person, but here goes her health completely declining because this person is untrustworthy. She's guilty trying to act like um, she's over here, and she's not, but there is no doubt in your mind or in God's eyes that this woman hasn't been trying to destroy you with her dishonest ass. I am sorry you're mean. <laughs> I'm mean good. <laughs> I'll be mean. I'm honest. It's not mean. It's called blunt. It's called blunt. People like, want to hear what they want to hear. I'm going to tell you what you need to hear, regardless if you like it or not. That's the difference. I'm not mean, honey. I'm sweet as candy. I'm the sweetest fucking thing you're ever going to find, but I'm blunt as fuck, and I'm going to tell you the truth, and the truth hurts. Look at that. I got it tattooed, too. Truth hurts, boo. Period. Truth hurts, boo. Tattooed right on my wrist. I've had that shit there since I was 18 years old. Some people never change. <laughs> Some people never change. But I feel like whoever you are, keep uh, keep repping for God here. Keep doing what you do. Keep helping other people and helping yourself. Because you are literally, with you, your angels, your ancestors are God. Or, and God. Um, whoever you are, it's like you're breaking free, period. I'm hearing like a breakthrough here as well. While you're over here loving on yourself, you're having a breakthrough. And your intuition is upgrading as well. Your ancestors are helping you. You're not alone. Your ancestors are over here helping you. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're mean. <laughs> oh, I'd rather be mean than a liar. Or I'd rather be mean than a fucking liar, for real. <laughs> okay? I'd rather be mean than a dishonest bitch. I'm just saying that shit right the fuck now. <laughs> oh, shit, bitch. The devil's a liar. <laughs> oh, are you trying to hurt my feelings? Oh, let me go cry in the corner. Wow. 
Oh my god, you're not a very good pal. You're not a very good pal. You are demoted. Pals to prigs, ooh. Catch you outside, no thank you, you're musty. <laughs> no thank you, you can keep that must to yourself, sweetheart. Ew. <laughs> Too scared to come up to my face anyway, bitch. Let's be real. Catch me outside. None of these bitches will catch me outside, period. They're all too scared of me. Pissing down their fucking leg. Shut the fuck up. Text warrior ass motherfuckers in here. Ooh. Now they're gonna go try to report me. You've been reported. <laughs> I am an Aquarius. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I am a freaking Aquarius. I am an Aquarius through and through, baby. Through and fucking through. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, you're still gonna get this partnership. It's coming up. And you're this is the sun energy. It's like you're gonna be happy happy regardless of the situation. This is your destiny, period. This is your destiny, period. Like your destiny is to be happy, to live free, and to have a good life here. Hey, Agna. <laughs> People don't like Aquarius because we're going to tell you how the fuck it really is, period. Yeah, we're that's that's an Aquarius trait through and through. Like, we're going to tell you how it really fucking is. People do not like us for that reason. I don't know about the men. I heard the men are shysty, poo shysty, but... <laughs> poo shysty. But, like, as far as Aquarius women, we're, we're lit. We're lit, boo. Okay. Yeah, whoever you are, it's like you're definitely adapting at this time. To everything coming towards you. You could be seeing like 10, 10, 10, 2, 2, 2. Or 10, 10, 10. Sorry, 10, 10. 2, 2, 2. Holy shit. <laughs> 11, 11, 1, 1, 1. There goes the 10, 10. See, I knew it was coming out. But yeah, whoever you are, like I said, you're getting an intuition upgrade here. Getting an intuition upgrade here. And you're centering yourself as well. 666. Six, six. Somebody could be seeing that every time that they need to center their self. I'm also hearing 888. 12, 12. <clears throat> oh my god, bro. That shit was so fucking funny. I'm catch me outside. Okay, because I wasn't ghetto as fuck. <laughs> People be calling me ghetto and then they come up here with that ghetto ass shit. Who the fuck really says that? Who <laughs> I'm fucking dying, y'all. <laughs> that was ghetto as fuck. Oh my god. Alright, let's get some states. Let's get some states before we end this live. That shit was funny as fuck. <laughs> right? People who can't fight. I'm going to tell you what. Ain't nobody want to fucking fight me, girl. Who Ain't nobody want to fucking fight me. You ask everybody I fought. I've only had to get in a couple fights. And people are like, I am not fucking with you whatsoever. Okay? Damn, that shit is <laughs> Shit, bitch. <laughs> Straight up. We don't talk about Fight Club, right? West Virginia is significant. If your state does not get called, that does not mean that this does not apply to you. I'm not going to do it that way. I'm just going to like, oh, Sparta, bitch. Push him out. Push it. Push it real good. Uh, 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 <laughs> I'm fucking done with myself. <laughs> okay, Mississippi came out. All right. Mississippi, Iran. What the fuck? <laughs> Indiana. Kansas, St. Kansas anymore, Dorothy, this the hood, <laughs> oh my god, I'm done, <laughs> Iowa, <laughs> dude, Spain, West Virginia, like I said before, New York, okay, New York, Connecticut, <clears throat> Pakistan, I know ain't nobody watched me from Pakistan, maybe, I don't know, Argentina, Texas, honorable mention. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Texas, okay. Alabama. Pennsylvania. Colorado. Minnesota. Oregon. I heard Idaho. South Dakota. I don't think Idaho even came out in here. Italy. <laughs> Missouri. New Jersey. Georgia and Michigan, okay. Oh my God, bro, that's funny as fuck. I can't even, bro. I'm done today. <laughs> oh my God. All right, y'all. 
Well, thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Shit, we got four out of seven of my gift goals. I appreciate you all who donated, okay? Thank you guys for the likes, for the shares, for the gifts, for being here. I appreciate you. Y'all know that I love the laughs too. That is like one of the best parts for me, okay? Uh, make sure y'all book your personal readings. If you want to book a personal reading, message me on here. We will set that up, okay? Um, you guys have a good night and do not forget to pray. I will see you guys later. Bye, everybody. Thank you for the gifts. I appreciate you. I always try to like click off here hella quick. Thank you. Thank you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you guys. All right, y'all. I will see y'all later. Bye, everybody.